Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Did you, did you do that in complete darkness? <laughs> I saw you up in the tent and it was just so dark. It was not dark in there at all. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I saw you open the door and it was like so dark. Like, did you just sit in the dark and do that? There was a light on. Really? <laughs> yeah, I like it. It was so dark in there. Welcome back to the Pineapple Under the Sea OG Pack. Pack. Or you can see one of the OG pack members isn't here, but we replaced him with someone cooler. You know, they, they, they practically look alike. I mean, you can't even tell the difference. Logan's practically Whoa. Jesse. All right. Wait, that's what do you mean? That's, oh, that's right. Logan? I thought that was Jesse. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what do you mean? Why'd you say, oh, all right? Oh, I mean, I mean, look at him. He... <laughs> I mean, they look the same. They look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, he's not gone forever. He's just home right now. So he said he was going to miss this one. So we replaced him with Logan, who I would argue is just as good. You know, he's he's talented. He's faster. He's faster. He's stronger. <laughs> better. <laughs> and faster. <laughs> oh my fucking god. But yes, he will be back at some point. Probably for the next one. He's just not here for this one. We love you, Jesse. We miss you. We love you. Rest up. in peace. He actually died. Shout out. Rest in peace, Jesse. We miss you. He's not dead or anything. It's yeah, just he's just bad time. He's just, he's, just not, he's just not here. He's just permanently sleeping with the uh, the uh, with the Saints. Um, uh, fucking. I was about to say Saints KD. doubters, bro. I was about to say KD, but that's not it, the win loss ratio. Well, okay. Who did they play recently that they beat? Is it like someone who's good? Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Bro. No. They had a wait. The Saints. Oh, they got all the points and the Warriors didn't get anything. <laughs> yeah, I haven't it's seen a, I haven't, I haven't seen a Which is funny because with how we've been playing lately, I thought it was going to be a close game. Well, Arnie, is the, is the game that Kamara got you 40 points for? Was it that? Hey, got me 40 points too, bro. I got was 41 today. points on my fantasy team. For I got 42.8. And it's, Amazing. it was perfect because on Thursday, my wide receiver for Baltimore, Rashad Bateman, I put him in there like, He's hurt, Thumbs and then hard. right before the game, they were like, you know what? He's gonna play. He took one snap, and he took him out, so I got zero points on one of my players. <laughs> should've did Devin Duvernay, bro. I, yeah, I literally should've did anything else. That would've been better. I, I will never forget the day we were at work, like it literally was like a couple weeks ago, and all of your starting players were like, Injured or when out. I got the ping. It was like Michael Thomas, <laughs> Michael Thomas is out. Calvin Kamara <laughs> yes, out. Dude. Um, Rashad Bateman From out. The entire offense. Uh, Polar, Keenan Polar Allen out. Polar out. out. And I was like, Olave. What do? Yeah, even Olave, bro. I was like, where do I go? <laughs> Arnie, Arnie literally. I, said, went, I literally left an open slot. I had no player. <laughs> you didn't go a waiver wire, dog. I okay. Arnie this is my first season, like, and like, oh. <laughs> I didn't have enough running backs to fill how many got hurt. <laughs> Arnie literally put half of his uh, draft on the trade block. It was just like, I, I don't want these losers. <laughs> I don't want them anymore. They're a bunch of fucking losers. Yeah, I screenshot and I said, I'm tired of these motherfucking losers, bro. <laughs> no, I was 0-6. Arnie is already like the most unluckiest like gambler I've ever seen in my life. This was really? probably the most unfortunate no, no, you say that, bro. moment. Just in this. I've no, been... even when we play cards. Okay, all right. When we play oh, like yeah, poker right. and shit, like just with chips, like not for money, just for yeah. chips and shit. Oh. I'm always the first one out. But I went to a casino for the first time with my sister, 
and I spent twenty five dollars. I walked in with twenty five and walked out with sixty. Yeah, but didn't you say you spent most of that on uh, slot machines? On slots? Yeah, yeah no, it's I didn't get any cards. Yeah. yeah, which isn't bad, but it's not like playing okay. cards. You know? Hey, the man, card free tables are like. Money. Car tables are more expensive. When I went to the Bahamas, yeah, buying way more. When I went yeah. to the Bahamas back in the tw uh, 2018, I did a slot machine. I got a fucking 100. You were 21 in 2018. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's when I turned 21. I graduated God high school. <laughs> Dude, I was 17 in 2018. <laughs> You're the fucking youngest, huh? You I am. No, no. Y'all you... making me 20. Y'all 21. Y'all making me feel like I'm. Yeah. So she's Y'all are making me feel like I'm fucking 55. You might as well be. Well, what year were you born? 97. Uh, oh, that's the same year as my oldest. You know, what, you know what that sounds like, Evan? That sounds like a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you turn 25, you're gonna feel the same. <laughs> right. Dude, honestly, I'm 22 and I don't feel any different when than I, I was when I was 17. Literally, yeah, literally a week no. before no my 25th way. birthday, I was like. <laughs> What? <laughs> I said that. They feel the same as they did when they felt when they were when 17. When I was 17, Artie went, no way. What do you feel? Fucking 50? Fucking 50? You have to feel like, so like 5 p.m. Of every fucking day. <laughs> Bitch. You might as well be 70. Not when yeah. I got work. <laughs> yeah, it's the only time. You sleep till 3 p.m. It's like 5. I, that's fucking insane. I know. Really that, that's is. psychopath shit. <laughs> no, bro. We let the we let the world be run by morning people, but fuck morning people. Yeah, dude, <laughs> thank you. Oh no. No, 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 no. You up now. no Oh, no. your ass sleeps to three p.m. Oh, my man. Hey, it's yeah, but I sleep till no one. Yeah, yeah, but what do you like? But for what reason though? Like, what are you doing that causes you to sleep till three p.m.? Your mom. No, me. Oh, I work. I work till one a.m. in the morning. Yeah, Arnie works till one a.m. in the morning, and then he'll get here, and then he'll play Valorant for like four fucking just hours. Go sleep, just go to sleep, bro. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You still could get eight hours of sleep. Fucking suck my dick. You gonna wake up and play Valorant, bro? Why would I wake up and play Valorant when I could just come home from work? But you can just go to Valorant. sleep and fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Listen, I'm not a morning person. Oh, I love waking oh, up at 3 p.m. I'll sleep till like nobody. I'll sleep till like 11, but 3 p.m.? 3 p.m.? Bro, you might as well die because you're barely even living life anyway. <laughs> Dude, my last time was like <laughs> You missed out on like the four best four hours of day. the fucking day. <laughs> Fucking the best hours. You of you tell me you don't like waking up at 9 a.m. and drinking some good fucking coffee and or waking milk. your ass up. I do wake up at 9 a.m. Or milk. I'm a 10 a.m. class. Or fucking I wake up at 9 a.m. almost every day. Waking up at 9 a.m. feels fucking you amazing. Need to find I love milk. You can't deny it. <laughs> I fucking love milk. You are in denial That's if okay. you think waking up at 3 p.m. is great. It's not. It feels you are awful. in denial. My last job I worked at, I had to be to work for six, but we didn't get off till like four in the morning. So I would sleep like 5 a.m. to like. If you're waking up at 3 p.m., you might as well sleep six feet under the dirt in a wooden coffin. <laughs> you might as well be dead, bro. You're not even living life. You're not even living life. Oh my God. I wake up at 3 p.m., go to work, and then play Valorant for two for two hours. It sounds like you're practicing. Welcome dead. back to the roast of of Arnie Olsen. It sounds like a suicide letter. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I go to work. I wake up at 3 p.m., go to work at 1 p.m. and then play Valorant and go to bed, do it all over again. <laughs> oh, life. by the way, I'm also, a life. I'm also a Discord mod, so life is great. <laughs> I'm not a Discord. <laughs> not you're the Discord on the owner, beans. though. On the server. Beans. Server owner. You're not, a, you're not the owner of the baked beans? That's not a mod, it. he's the I'm owner. Whatever. It's not the Boss, same. Boss, mod, owner. It's not the same. Mod, when when Discord people get modded, they feel like they just got knighted as the queen's fucking like like national guard. Yeah, national guard. <laughs> like I had to save this. I had to like, save the server with my life. The fucking guards, the pope. That's what they feel like. <laughs> but yeah, fuck fuck you if you're a morning person. If you're a morning person, fuck yourself. I hope you wake up, watch this podcast, and you have a finger in your ass because <laughs> probably enjoy shit like that too. If you like the mornings, fucking piece of shit. Morning my per dad. Morning person here. I definitely don't like finger in my ass. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. He likes it, dude. My dad. Whatever is a helps you person. sleep at night. My dad this. wakes up at like fucking 5 a.m. to go to work. I would rather blow my fucking brains out than go to to wake up at 5 a.m. to go to work. My grandmother does that shit. I do that on Sunday, Sunday and I make a shit ton of money. You know what my dad's bedtime is? 9 p.m. 
The nighttime just started by 9 p.m., motherfucker. I just started enjoying it. He's going to bed. <laughs> he's missing out. He's yeah, he's missing bro. out, bro. That ghost adventure is coming on. goes to bed. Right? Not fucking fixing this me. This guy goes to bed at 9 p.m. He's losing like 15 years of his life. Right now. <laughs> Dude. I'm fucking, I'm fucking watching Ghost Adventures at that time, fi fixing a fucking cup of ice cream. And then after I eat a cup of ice cream, I'm fixing a bag of popcorn. Because I don't give a fuck. And then, I, and then I wake up at 1 a.m. and drink like four cups of coffee. And then, and then I eat like a bunch of hot Cheetos. To wake and then I, I whip out a, a family size pack of Funyuns. <laughs> and then I cook a steak on a cast iron, dude. dude. I fucking had... I have not had Funyuns in so goddamn long. The spicy long. ones are so goddamn if, good. If are they? Are the hot Funyuns? If, oh my if, god. If, if you have any, any, any chip that is hot is just automatically good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no. What's that, uh, the Takis, bro? I don't like that You don't shit. like those? Fuck no, bro. I Takis like my lime and I like my chili. So I like shit. Me some <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Goo Goo Gaga, But I'm telling you right now, Funyuns better be on everyone's S tier, bro. For chips? For, For chips, chips. Well, yes. Oh, okay. oh, do we, are we gonna have to do an episode where we bring in a bunch of chips? Oh! <laughs> yes! Now we have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Chip Everyone, tier list? I fucking do that. Everyone bring in your two like favorite bags of chips that you can think of. Or your top three. Okay. I think chips in general are just like mid as fuck. <laughs> Arnie! No! How have you not killed yourself yet? <laughs> you don't wake up every day. In game. You wake up, I bet you wake up every day in, a, in like a state of depression thinking about chips and how much you could enjoy them. But no, you, you don't sit in denial and call them men. <laughs> sit in denial. Why this motherfucker literally, literally puts his head literally in that bed right there and me, 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 And then he wakes up and like, man, chips are mid as fuck. <laughs> Fuck I mean, what a you. horrible life. Oh my god. Arnie, Literally, what a horrible life. Just die, bro. <laughs> you practically are dead. He's a walking corpse. corpse. Yeah, <laughs> you're a walking corpse. Old. Do you have anything to say for yourself, motherfucker? That's what I'd rather have chocolate than chill. I mean, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But like, what, you're not, you're just not gonna compare? buy chips because chocolate oranges. exists. That's apples and oranges. Arnie, chocolate and ice cream just, exists. Just as a I, don't, snack? I don't wanna, that, that makes yeah, no sense. Yeah. Are you talking I mean, like, like at any, any moment where I might go get chips, or like anything else like in that area, like I'd just get like Bro, something else. Just like, like, buy a variety pack at Walmart. Yes. And just ha just no. have a variety pack in the, in the fucking no. Dude, you don't fuck with chips and dip? Chips and dip at like a party, but that's different. Y'all talking a about like party. Doritos? What, and, what are what you that saying is, right is that? now? What? what? I just mean y'all y'all mean like fucking Doritos Loser. and bring bunions and fucking Lay's and all that garbage, you know? I don't think I want fucking chocolate. Like, garbage. Fucking three listen, and listen, a garbage. I am, a, I am an absolute slut for chocolate. But for you to sit here <laughs> and, and, and say, say all this libtarded shit right now, <laughs> chips are fucking mid, bro. Your life is mid, on <laughs> Wakes up at 3 p.m., says chips are mid, goes to work and plays Valor for two hours, <laughs> and goes to I bed. Read, and I read here like fucking Arby's. And you know what? He's not. He's playing Valor and not eating chips at him. He's just going to bed. I, I rate your life just a, I rate just a stick your of life. chocolate up his ass. I rate your life a four out of ten. I'm not chipping. Your <laughs> chips are mid. There oh are much Thank better you. snacks than chips. I'm not They're saying not. chips are bad. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't buy them. Or like, you go, yeah, okay. Oh, there's there's shit so, like that. So there's there's so many. Explain yes, to the name class. Them. Explain to the class. class. I personally, I'm not much of a snack person. I eat like just meals a lot of the time. I'll just wait till I'm hungry. But if I am snacking, I usually like to snack on like fruit or something like grapes. And I'm not like a healthy like eater person. I just think that they're a lot more refreshing. I'll, I'm going to go out on the limb. Not to, you know... So you can't, that guy. you can't, you can't, fit, I have not you can't once fit. ever seen you snack <laughs> on a food. <laughs> you can't. Snack in general. Hey, you, you know what? Seen me snack hey, in general. you know I what? Mean, I, it's true. You it's know true. what? I like grapes as a snack, but I can fit in chips every now and then. <laughs> hey, mean, Arnie, yeah, Arnie, wait, 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 Arnie, I do you like Cheez-Its? No. None of them? I'm not no? like a, I don't. Do you like goldfish? You know what? I'm not like a salty, savory kind of guy. That's not really like Wait, what? I, I mean, like, I like salty, savory trip. stuff, but that's not my main. Artie's opinion. You like them? I do like cheese. You know what they are? I'm, they're crackers. They're chips. They're crackers. They're chips. They're chips. Cheeses? It's literally cheeses? Cheeses, it's crackers. cheeses are crackers. crackers. Bro, what are Bro, crackers? it's literally you. What are crack? True. <laughs> what are crackers? <laughs> but not, you know, just some 
well, different crackers, cooked chip. Well, those crackers are Mitchell. fried dough, not fried potatoes. Cheez-Its yeah. are not potatoes. <laughs> they don't have to be potatoes to be chips. Funyuns aren't fucking Yeah, they do. Chips aren't potatoes or from a vegetable. Where do you yeah, think chips come from? from? What about Funyuns? No. What about Funyuns? This is new to me. Funyuns are not potatoes. Really I didn't say they were. That's a chip though. But also a cracker okay, is, but is but thicker than a chip. I said a chip is a fried I mean, I vegetable of oh, some sort. Oh, he said I never thought too hard about it. like potatoes, but it is fried vegetables. What? Did you not know the distinction? Between what crackers? No, yeah. Did you between actually crackers think and chips? No, no. This is a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, he's worried about the no, real problem. I, I know what the difference between a cracker and a chip is, but I'm saying what is a cracker but just a different cooked chip? It's no, <laughs> it's not a chip though. It's not in any category of chip. <laughs> I mean, crackers, crackers you sound like a fucking British person. <laughs> Why, because it sounds stupid? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't have the accent. Whoa! <laughs> shit! But, but french fries, french fries are just chips. Well, like me! <laughs> well, at least I choose <laughs> our shooting gallery, gallery mate. <laughs> Fish and chips, bro. Yeah, More like fish and shit. Man. Fish you like fish and chips. and chips? I like fish and french fries. Yeah, I like them, oh but why God. the fuck do they call potatoes, <laughs> potato french fries, chips? I mean, they need to be killed just for that alone. Oh, so, absolutely not. Potato wedges. No. Chips. They're chips. God. If I saw a British person in real life, oh, man. Oh, it's dude. going down. Speaking of french fries, bro. I could bring up some, some shit from fucking from some the, canes. From yeah, some canes S tier fries. Right, do we need to talk? Do we have to? Do we have to bring it up on the no, podcast? No, don't shut up. Are you sure? Yeah. You seem like the kind of person that wants to bring it. I up I just on said the my podcast. opinion, and I and I, that's it. Well, even though it was wrong, do you still want to bring it up? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot the red skull. Oh, Ross goes here. Canes is S tier. I forgot. Canes is not. Fuck you. Canes is not S tier. I changed, my, I changed my mind, dude. Canes fries. I had some canes in general is not S tier. Canes some, fries are definitely. I had some not McDonald's S-tier. fries yesterday, and like it's very They're much the best in my opinion. They are just the best. They are. Can we, can we go one episode without? Can you go one episode being right about something? Yeah, fucking S tier fries. Canes are S tier. They're not. Whatever. There's two kind of people. They're too soggy. There's two kind of people in this world. Thank you. Hey, shut the fuck up. There's two. There's two kind of people in this world. Okay. People who like canes and the people who are liars. Okay. I don't like. I don't hate canes. What do you mean? I love. Canes. I love canes. It's just not S tier, and their fries aren't S tier. Their, t- their, their fucking S-tier. fries are so. Z- bad. Zaxby's isn't S tier either, but it is good. Crinkle cut fries are for fucking babies. Thank do you. Do not hand me crinkle cut fries, especially if they're spending like fucking twelve dollars on this shit. I don't know. Chick- I like Chick- my fries. fries I like the. I like the thinness of like McDonald's fries and like Freddy's fries and like the crispiness of Freddy's fries. It. It's like good. Fries. I like crispy fries. fries. Hell yeah. Waffle, Waffle fries, fries are good too. Yeah. <laughs> the problem. The problem that I have with the crinkle cut is that what well, unless you order them extra crispy at Canes, which should fucking have to. Soggy. Is they're, they're soggy and they're very. They're giving you a cheat code and you're complaining. They're very. They're very. <laughs> much, <laughs> They're giving me a cheat code, dude. I can have McDonald's and order fries, and they're perfect. I don't have to you say McDonald's. Get it. <laughs> McDonald's is very inconsistent. Mitchell, you can literally get it for free. You don't have to pay anything at Kings to get your fries extra crispy. You don't have to do that anywhere. Cut free. You don't have to do that anywhere. Yeah. Eat, 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 I don't have to. Eat, I don't have to ask extra crispy anywhere else. But also, crinkle cut sucks. It's more. It, it's it's too much potato in each bite. Like, I need it in smaller portions. So I guess you don't like Chick Fil A's French fries. No, I like theirs, but theirs are crispy. I See, I like that's fries. so. The only thing, the only thing I can really say about Chick Fil A fries like is that fries. they're not good by I themselves. I don't like steak fries. I don't like wedges. Fuck you. Like you don't like steak I don't like fries? wedges either. <laughs> <laughs> It's too much. And you think and you sit here potato-y. making fun of me for eating crinkle. Fries. Thank you. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's too potatoey. Yeah, I'm like might I as well bite into a raw fucking fry. You have only <laughs> had bad fries. fries. It's just a pot- potato. You have only had bad steak fries. You two haven't potato- had good what? ones. What? That's, that's not true. That's so good. Isn't um. Five Guys French fries. I think they're steak fries, aren't they? They're yeah. really good. Yeah. 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 I do. Yeah. No, I like their fries. I, I just like it. Exactly. Pr- I don't prefer steak fries. Five Guys have some good fries. Five Guys are not steak fries. I, I have been a fan. You don't like Ruby Tuesdays? Like no, Ruby Tuesday for what? 
Okay. You you think I've never Tuesday been to fries were not good? I've never they been there. They were good. No. Never been there. No, oh, they're just fucking they're expensive. They are. Same with the Pensacola. Yes, Arnie, I agree with you. It's too potatoey. It's almost like I'm eating a like baked potato. Oh I don't want God. that. If no, I want to eat a baked potato, I need a baked potato. Wham, it's too wham, much wham. I need some more. I need some more skin right? and crisp on that. Wham, wham, baked wham. potatoes right. are good as fuck, bro. Baked potatoes are so fucking good. Our school cafeteria. Dude, our school is like mid, but on Mondays they have fucking baked potatoes. Bro. Yeah, I was on Mars on Wednesdays. So yeah, have I baked potato on Monday? Uh, to, the, to the baked potato place what in Scott. It? There's literally a place in Scott where all they do is sell baked potatoes. I mean, and it's super really? potatoes more. Super potatoes, yes. yes. I'm never dude, there's a place so like that in Kenner, bro. Totally. Dude, the one in Scott is so good. Bro. I get the H2 yeah, fan one every time. I never do. We have to go there. Damn. I've been there. It's really good. God damn. So you know, sometimes I do miss the movie in Kenner. Yes. Because I went to high school. Dude, like their potatoes are fucking packed. They are. I pay like seven dollars for like an entire for real? meal. It's I mean, I literally do need to ask. This is so this. random. I want to go to this place. This is so oh, random. You do. Uh, you do. How is y'all's high school lunches? Were they good? Oh they're my god! god. They, 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 they were dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. I was about okay. to say I am good. about, dude. I'm He's about so to good. say. The truest thing you that ever happened. You just jumped the fuck out of your chair. I think the I worst Dude, because you brought it up and it made me think about how terrible it fucking Well, I think the worst thing my school ever did was not give us cheese for our fucking tacos. They took away our cheese oh, for our tacos. Oh, boo fucking boo. They didn't give us cheese. What happened to the cheese? It tastes cheese. like they got soaked in sewage, give it sewage to us. water. Okay. And your fucking, your fucking nachos tasted like they got soaked in sewage water because they were stale as fuck. They give you these pizzas in fucking plastic wrap. And it looked like they were swimming oh, in the fucking the bags. Bro, th dude, they switched me and took a bite out of it, and it tasted like you were eating fucking gelatin, bro. That shit was disgusting. Dude, they switched those pizzas out like probably like four or five times over like at least Did my high school. Did y'all ever have cauliflower pizza? Yes, we had cauliflower no, pizza. This is what my cauliflower pizza I did it, but that like sounds good. Cauliflower. That sounds good. I'd rather eat pineapple pizza. It was a pallet of like cauliflower. cauliflower, like this big around, mm -hmm. and like that big, with like four little pieces of shredded cheese on and a oh, y'all got cheese, huh? We got like four little the We never got cheese, bro. The we only like thing that was good at my school was our tacos were actually good. And every once in a while, they would fix Sawsbury steak. And that was good, too. But I'm telling you where it all went wrong. <laughs> And I feel like a lot of people are gonna agree with me. Dude, he's it's when it. fucking Michelle Obama yeah. was like, what happened? No more, no more snacks in uh, school. You public school motherfuckers got fucked. Yeah, fuck you. Literally. I went to a fucking private school. You went to a school David with a bunch Thibodeau, of dude ass. Hey, hey, you with the yeah. dude ass high, bro. Oh, uh, hey, we were eating good, bitch. Why y'all eating that super True. slop? I went to a private school for two years, and once a month, the principal literally cooked jumbo eye in this huge thing. <laughs> but other than that, what the? Fuck? Oh, Wait till you get up for that, bro. So I went to I went to I went to, uh, I went to uh, Rummel High School in Metairie, and like we were a private Catholic high school, and we got fuck? we got funding out the fucking wazoo, right? We were just one of those schools where everybody knew who we were, and everybody knew who we were on the block, and um, <laughs> like we had we had a, an amazing cafeteria. We had a place where we had like fried chicken wings, tacos, burgers. Fries. All right, we get you fucking. Yeah, see, you had multiple it. choices. Everyone you know, had the same. Thing, like a fucking and we prison. had our own version of the cane sauce. We had our own version oh, of the buffalo. Oh, yeah. Fries. Well, we had baked potatoes on Mondays. Boom. Hey, yeah, bitch. Hey, no, no, no. And, hey, and, then we we had, had, and then we had a Subway. Dude, and we, had we had slimy had, uh, fruit home cups. meals. Oh, dude, and then uh, in the morning, dude, the if you came awful. early, you can get donuts. Fuck you. Dude, dude, everybody fuck fought you. over the bread. Oh, Every time they had bread. Speaking of bread. So when I was in primary and middle school, we did actually have really good lunch. It, was, it wasn't until high school where I got shit. When y'all were younger, I want to say probably primary school, did y'all have a thing in y'all's cap called monkey bread? Yes. <laughs> uh, I think so. It's Dude. like a cinnamon, like, glaze, yeah. like, thing of, like, bread roll. But, like, they literally, so, they literally, like, put it, like, in, like, a thing of, like, melted icing. Mm -hmm. So, like, it soaks it all up in the bread. Dude, that shit was so fucking Dude, people good. fought over that shit. We literally traded things for it. Yeah. Like, get another piece from someone else. Be like, yo, I'll give you this for another piece deal. of monkey bread. And then, and then depending on how, how well liked you are by the cafeteria lady, they'll give you two. Two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, my mom worked at school, bro, so I knew the mom, <laughs> man. We had a... 
at my high school we had a vending machine with a bunch of like uh, sweet stuff in it. So we had we used to until Michelle Obama got fucking office. We had cinnamon buns. Dude, what? We had cinnamon buns. Yes. We had frosted. Um, what do you call those things? Honey buns, frosted, frosted. Yeah, honey like buns. the big Texas ones. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and I would get some of those, and I would bring them to the cafeteria because they have microwaves in there. Never. And I would heat that shit Fucking up. Oh, it was never. so good. Dude, 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 our vending machines had 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 diet like all diet and zero fucking coke so yeah like coke Garbage. zero <laughs> fucking coke diet that's fucking weird show, dude, the you know, okay. favorite, everyone's favorite was mellow yellow arnie you would have liked oh, my high really school's vending machine dude that was like the most because so the drink ones had like uh protein shakes in them and stuff yes. and uh they they had some with like water in it but i think i think there were some that had soft drinks like coke and stuff like that and powerade but there was one in the locker room that had like uh, chocolate milk in it, and we, people were always giving football players money to go get them one in the morning. Huh. But uh, our snack machines used to have like M and M's and stuff in them and stuff like that, like normal snack. Y'all had a snack machine? Yeah, yeah. that's we never. We, had, we, had, had, we had two. We got these raggedy. shitty, terrible, <laughs> fucking off-brand chips from like these random-ass fucking companies, and like the only thing that we had that wasn't off-brand where we had we had like these cereal bars and we had pop tarts. But everything else was like off-brand chips and stuff like yeah, that. Our vending machine, you would have yeah. liked it, had lemonades. Had yeah, bro. Minute Maid. Minute Maid. Oh, Minute Maid. Oh, 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 Minute Maid. oh, oh my god. The pink the lemonade is so bad. If I was in the class lemonade. drinking yeah, that, that shit, I would literally shit. piss myself <laughs> from excitement in class. <laughs> Dude, pink not, lemonade is so much better than yellow lemonade, by the way. Wait, what? Pink lemonade is better than yellow lemonade. No. no, pink lemonade. I can pink lemonade, lemonade I can all the way. S S S. I mean, I'll drink both. Don't get me wrong. I like both. But pink is definitely a lot better. People kept breaking into our vending machines because we also had like a snack machine and stuff. They literally put cages around our vending machine. Oh yeah, they you did that like, too. Reach your hand through a little square. Yeah. You know, they did that to us, I think, eventually. And then our school kind of turned into a prison because there's like a big, like every school is kind of like this now in my parish. But every school has like a ginormous like black fence going around the whole property so people can't get in and out. <laughs> Care comes out yeah. in the fucking country, dog. We, Ain't put, nah, we, we put a fence up at our at my high school, like. What high school did you go time, to? Touchdown High School. It oh, was, the it fuck was, you. For the what? <laughs> for the, what's wrong with that? For the longest time, anybody could just walk onto campus, but nobody ever did. What's wrong with Touchdown? No, what high school you went to? Rumble. Why is God protected them. Why is it you went to? Uh, Desperate. High school you went to? Okay. Oh. No wonder where ours is so similar. I went what, to care, what the fuck's wrong with that now? No, wrong with that oh, no, oh, I was the only one you said fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> there actually is something wrong with Dutch Town. It's filled with a Dude, bunch of privileged people. Last week, oh, some and Dutch Town? Shit. Yes. Yeah, Dutch Town is literally like a privileged huh? school. That's not new. Like, like that's where that's where like the rich people that's a go. Lot. I didn't think of it. That's a lot. It's, it, it yeah, just you wouldn't think of it because it looks like shit. Well, whatever. I was in high school. I think we never lost. Yeah. But what did you have to eat, Arnie? We still like, we didn't have any machines at all. Really I mean, this year they're gonna make it to the state Not once. I know we yeah, are. Yeah, but We're like, like, seven and two right now. You know how I said, like, we would have, like, fried chicken and stuff like that? Like, oh. what was y'all's main food? Oh, Main food. They make pizza potato one day, bro. He said it. But like, oh yeah, because we had pizza all was like bowls, and all you got was one slice potato. of pizza and like a little thing of carrots. So like, alternative lunch. You got that, and you'd be yeah. like starving, dude. dude I'm, I'm telling you, bro. If you went to our, my school's cafeteria, you would think you'd be in a fucking prison, bro. <laughs> Everyone got the same thing. No, there wasn't choices. I mean, there was like two choices. You either get the hot food lunch line, or you go on the un other lunch line yeah, and get so a little small fucking secret, box of fries and, and a secret pizza. See, our, See, our lunch had two eat. choices. Yes and no. <laughs> Literally, nah. just walk through. You just hold your tray out for what you want. What was like? What is like? That milk would be fucking warm half the time oh, too. Yeah. Oh. What is like? What milk did y'all get? The two percent, bro. No, the chocolate. The ah, uh, the vanilla, I couldn't the do the chocolate. I got the chocolate. Two percent strawberry. Two percent. No, we didn't have. Oh, strawberry, strawberry milk was gross. Dude, I didn't like. Strawberry milk is so good, but there's so no. much bullshit in it. I did not. What? Two percent like is strawberry. Dude, you just have a vendetta against strawberries. Well, okay, it could. No, I like strawberry flavored things, but. It could have. I haven't had any other strawberry milk besides the one at my school, so it could be just that. Strawberry milk is so good. Did y'all also so get like a little juice? If you get a strawberry milk, yeah, I'll try it. No, no we, we, we had like bottles. Juice box, well, you had, no, like, only we had bags, like fucking choice. Canadians. Oh, then we, we had apple juice and orange juice. Like, like we had a orange juice drink would be machine. half the time frozen, and like for a while, like the juice had like slime. You would dip that shit out, would just be. Uh, you know what? You know what our milk was? You know what our milk was? It was in a fucking bag. It was <laughs> in a bag. In a bag. <laughs> dude, I've never, dude, never, dude, that's never what seen that in my life. Dude. I'm literally not even joking. So when we would get food, you would get like a like a plastic thing of utensils that had like a spork in it, a straw, and a napkin. 
and then when you get your drink, you had strawberry, chocolate, white milk. When you grab it, it is literally yeah. in a bag. <laughs> literally. My elementary. In a bag, like a plastic, like you know, yeah. you know like in Canada, instead of like yeah, jugs, yeah, Canada, they yeah. get like a big bag. Imagine like a super downscaled size of that. It's like this That's big, so it, was, uh, it has milk in it, and you just stab your straw in it and drink out of a fucking bag. <laughs> and sometimes the straw would go all the way through. Yeah. Like the one part of your plate would just flood yeah. with milk. And you'd be so like, yeah, oh. so then, yeah, one part of your plate would flood with milk because the straw went all the way through. Yeah. Or you'd have to put your finger behind it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it was stupidest the dumbest shit, shit ever. It's the stupidest bro. fucking thing. And if you broke thing. it, I was in like elementary school, they wouldn't give you another one. That's probably, you know what? Children. That's probably why my fucking high school had such good grades because they treated us like fucking prisoners. <laughs> We were in a prison, they fucking quite literally whipped you in the shape, bro. I swear, that <laughs> fucking sucks. Whatever you said. <laughs> what was, what was like some of the weirdest shit that's ever happened to y'all school? Uh, so, oh, one of our teacher, one of our <laughs> fucking football players <laughs> oh, slept with an English teacher, and then the English teacher had a wife and kids, and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna get my other English teacher friend to have a threesome with me with this kid. Wait, and then she had a wife and kids? Yes. Yes. And then the next year, that's awesome. one of the uh, female teachers slept with one of the female students the very next year. <laughs> that's awesome. And then like a few years before that, the old band director slept with one of the college guard kids. That's so awesome. Dude, you Dude. got a bunch of pedophiles at your house. <laughs> yeah. That's so... Just... Ours was different. Ours, Ours was teacher fucking other teachers. I remember, I remember when yeah, that happened that. because in my religion class, my religion teacher started talking about it because we were just shooting the shit. And he was like, <laughs> shooting the shit in religion class. And he was, well, we, we were like, we didn't have anything else to talk about. We were done for the day, so we just started talking about random stuff, and that got brought up. And he was like, yeah, y'all heard about those Destrahan teachers and what they did with that student? And we're like, oh, yeah. And somebody said, oh, yeah, that, that dude was so lucky. And he was like, uh, my teacher goes, you see, that's what I don't get. Whenever it's a guy with a what underage a girl, yeah. it's disgusting. But when it's, it's in a, a small woman, and an underage, uh, boy. <gasps> what is that? Cookie brownies. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> dude, the rookie. Oh my god, dude. It could give me a boner just by sight. No, oh, it's just paper on the bottom of it. Wait, Evan, what was that? You told me a story about oh, what this, the, like, wait, really... Wait, I want to finish the oh, okay. I thought you did. Sorry. Thank you. I'm good. Here's <laughs> <laughs> your story, bitch. But yeah, like... One of the guys in our class was like, oh yeah, that dude was lucky that he had a threesome or whatever. And the teacher and our teacher was like, you see, that's what I don't get because when it's an older dude with a minor who's a girl, it's disgusting and all that, it's depravity. But when it's a, a woman with a young boy, guys will be like, um, oh yeah, he's so lucky, I wish that was me. When it's like, it's still like, <laughs> it's still, still, you still know, right. considered rape. Mm -hmm. And they're a pedophile, like, What's lucky about that, you know? <laughs> it should it shouldn't be treated differently. I think that's just how we grew up though. True. What no, is no, you I, I think that's a bad story. There was a story you told me one time about this like really suspicious kid walking in your class or something like that and they thought he had like a you know. Oh yeah. Uh, one of my religion another one of my religion teachers told me a story about how uh, he thought a shooting was gonna happen. And um, so like, there was a test going on in his class, and he saw one of his students come in with like a weird looking bag, and it was slightly open. So he walked over, because it looked really weird, it was really out of place. And he walked over and he was pretending to look at people like so they wouldn't look at other people's tests. And he looked over to the bag, and he saw the, the, the back of a gun, like the butt of a gun, and he's like, and he said in his mind, Oh shit. <laughs> and so he told everybody to get out of the room and he looked inside and the gun was a fake. It was it, it was a BB gun but he oh swore but he God. swore that it looked like a real that gun. That is still bad. That's but, still but, bad. No, yeah. no, that's still bad because it's like he thought it was a real gun. But why right. would you bring a BB gun anyway? Almost got arrested in uh, middle school for that shit. Bring yeah. a BB gun? I had an airsoft pistol in my locker. Huh. Yeah. And Dude, they made me open that shit. You in front have of the to dog. be so careful because there are airsoft guns that legit look like real guns. And it didn't have the orange tip, so whenever they opened it, uh, I turned to my left and I get a, a gun drawn at me. Damn! That's camera wow. middle's wild. That's fucking. That's Why'd you bring a fucking BB gun to school? I mean, you're a kid. Why, so why did you bring yeah, it? Uh, huh? Why'd you bring it? Why'd I bring it? After school, I was gonna go shoot it with some of my friends. Dude, how'd you get caught with it, bro? You know, they wanted, they wanted, they wanted, around. They wanted everybody's lockers open. He was fucking twirling it in a mirror. <laughs> they wanted everybody's lockers open. 
Like, like they were doing a drug search, so they were open up everything. You brought it on the one random the one day random fucking that day, they yeah. fucking checked loggers. And you, did you like was start that a, was that a common Was that a common thing in y'all school? Like, what? like random drug searches? Yeah, I've had yeah. that they drug did No, 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 no. Like well, quite often. No, no, no. no. We got it every this. day. All right. I'll every say, day? Yes. I'll if, say this. No, bitch. At Destrahan, <laughs> when you walked into the door. They would grab like one in ten people. Like they would randomly grab like one in ten he people, and they would pull you to the side. And there weren't dogs, but they would like actually open your school bag and like look in and a few things. It started for us after everyone maybe not one in ten being in the bathrooms and right. stuff like that. Then they started doing drug tests, like well, like drug tests. Not drug tests. Oh, I'm like, saying drug checks, and they would school. bring like dogs on campus and stuff and just oh, go yeah. around. Like five times a year, we'd have to like leave our book bags unzipped, take any like pencil bags out. We have to insert our fuck? pockets. Dude, and, like, you couldn't have a and lock. They would wand us down, and if anything That's went never off, that hell. If okay. anything went off, they would pat us down. Yeah, and, that like, is one never time my belly ring school. went off, and literally they had to take me like to the like back office somewhere, and they were like, "What do you have on you?" I'm like, "I literally have nothing," and they're like, "Your stomach ring up. What do you have in your waistband?" I'm like, a, a, "A fucking belly ring? I don't know." <laughs> And I almost got in trouble. My I had to drugs. literally show them, like with inappropriate, like within mm -hmm. appropriate guidelines. That Dude, they would make us. There. They would make us get out of class, line up on yeah. the wall, and the and the dog would just walk by you. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, and then they up. went into the yeah, bro. They're we like, this is. Our hands back. Dude, like you can, like literally, like, it was the most craziest shit. And I'm yeah. like, and every time I'm like, that'd be some shit. That, never, <laughs> that would be a bitch. Our 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 like uh, disciplinary. <laughs> Our, our disciplinarian. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to fucking help you. He tried to open it from the wrong side like 10 fucking times. <laughs> that would be some shit. That would be. That, that. <laughs> Dude, I never. I knew like schools did that, but I didn't know y'all fucking went through that shit. I've never yeah. been through that. Like, our, dis our, our discipline. It really is. Do you know how many bomb threats really I've had in high school? Oh, me too, man. Bro. There was Holy a shit. Month. Dude, dude, we were they were they were dude, one of bomb threats were like a common occurrence in my fucking high school. Dude, dude we were sitting in the stadium for like three hours, bro. Don't go to school and I want to go to the stadium. <laughs> I, had to sit your, I had to sit in her desk. You want to? You want to know? Three hours. I don't need Destiny as it is. No, they they go to school at school like, like, like transportation uh, services. <laughs> like crouched under a desk for four hours. <laughs> no. That's. That's their prerequisite before they actually do it. <laughs> Dude, I, that's, you that's what's you know, that's you know what's crazy. Insane. Y'all remember? You remember back in like 2017, where they had like the killer clowns? Yeah. Uh -huh. We were yeah, we were on lockdown for the whole day because of that shit. Because we literally had clowns what? come to our school. <laughs> we did too. Oh, we didn't even know they were walking. Dude, we literally. <laughs> You sound like you're a fucking main your character in a horror movie. Dude, I was in my French class. It was on like the top floor of uh, the bu closest building to the road, and you could see them. And you're able, you're able to open that door. And this is so we opened the door, and we were antagonizing the fuck out of them. And they like were throwing rocks at us. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you, you see our resource officers like chase them. Can't even get to him. That is fucking we hilarious. We had one clown get arrested because he was walking through Carline with a fucking machete. Like the actual <laughs> one. A fucking real one. Walking through people dropping. Yeah, why not? Kids. Why not? So the resource Yellow. officers, we had like three or four. We had a very them. scary They literally officer. had to go and like they I wouldn't say tackle this man, but like mm. forcefully remove the machete from his hands and he got arrested. There was right uh, so Jesus. Fuck. There was one time, I think this was my senior year of high school. So uh we had like I think they made this like group chat for like the seniors to talk about like what day we're gonna ditch or whatever for senior ditch day. And um, our assistant principal's son was in high school and he was in band so I knew him like pretty well. And someone gave him an invite to like the uh, group me that we were in for the seniors and he's literally like a sophomore. And he named himself in group me school shooter. <laughs> and people like reported him and he threatened to like, like in the group meet, he was like, yeah, I'm a bomb to school tomorrow. Like, and his name was in the group chat, it was like school shooter or whatever. And literally like the, that same day, he was like, like pretty much arrested, not really, but like pretty much was like, and his mom who was like the assistant principal just had to sit there and witness that shit. <laughs> and it was like, oh my God, I cannot believe it. I think it was even that. louder back in like elementary middle school. Uh, so Karen Crow, 
Canico Middle is right next to Chase Bank mm -hmm. and like three other banks. So there was a few times where we had to be on like lockdown under our desk because there was a bank robber yeah. <laughs> like 10 feet from the school. There was a there was a bank by us too. We had that happen a couple times. Oh, Dude, way never, too many fucking times. I've never been drug searched, but like, so like our disciplinarian and our like principal always like pounded in our head like, oh, we're gonna do you better not be doing drugs because one day we might drug check you. I've never been drug checked or drug tested, and they've always said they do it to some random person, but I must be like the luckiest guy <laughs> Dude, for whatever one, reason. One fucking day, um, so for like a whole week, somehow there was an Adderall drug ring going on. <laughs> what? Oh my god. And there was what? A, because of a guy who somehow got uh, his hand on like hundreds of Adderall pills, and he was selling one for 20 bucks, and he was making bank. Because yeah, bro, I do that too. Because Adderall is like the one drug that people want more than weed these days. It's harder to get. It's only prescribed. But um, he was making like bank. He made like five hundred dollars, I think. Dollars? Huh? <laughs> five hundred dollars? Dollars? Give me a break. Huh. But they did a drug check on him. Of all, uh, like after a week, he was doing this shit, and they found over 200 tablets in his backpack. Damn, that's a you major know, profit and, loss. And, and like a couple hundred dollars in cash. Dollars. <laughs> dollars. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. Did I really say it like that? Somehow you got to pay for that uh, Rumble tuition. You know? Deal. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but and then he got kicked out immediately. Obviously. God damn. I don't know if you were here for this, but I I know you were, and I think you were still in POA when this happened. But there was like one day we were practicing like our fucking show outside and we were like, we were like in arcs or something like that. And there was some shirtless dude across the street just yelling, You guys fucking oh, suck! Oh, I was You guys that. suck! Shut the fuck up! I remember that. Dude, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> that was the local fucking crackhead, was, man. Like, like, it wasn't like a group of people, it was it one, one guy. guy. I don't even think that was his fucking house. I think he was just walking by and he had no shirt you on, he was sagging like some... Suck. Some khaki like shorts, and he's just going, You guys suck! You fucking suck! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> and Dr. Missile is on the mic, just going, Yeah, just ignore him, guys. <laughs> yeah. just ignore him. Dude, Dr. Missile's yeah, like, was... Dr. Laird is like, Yeah, he's right. You guys really need to get that <laughs> together. Now, Dude, Dr. Laird, Dude, if that good. was, Me if Thank Melly you. was here, who, if Melly Take was here. Dirt if Melly, <laughs> dude, if Melly was here, the guy who was here before Miss and Landry heard that shit, he would have probably told him to fuck off. <laughs> he probably would have ran over. He probably, probably would have teleported in front of him and fucked him. him. Yeah, get his dude, that reminds me of like in 2016. So when Melly was still here, we were practicing, and there was like these three guys who were walking up the stairs where the parking lot, the parking tower is, and they say like some random shit to a a, a guard member, and Melly's like, "Hey, can you like?" chill out and not tell my members like what to do and the guy immediately goes fuck you melly and, then, <laughs> and melly is like oh you want to go there huh you, oh yeah you tough guy huh and, and he's like well, why don't, i think you need to take a powder break <laughs> powder break and and the guy is like no shut the fuck up melly and he's like and, and, and then he's like okay why don't you go take a dirt nap while you're at it <laughs> Just some random guy? Yeah, just some random dude. Well, he was like t talking shit. I don't blame Melly for getting all that ass. I mean, how can you fucking blame him? Yeah, no, fuck you, Dr. <laughs> and, and then, uh, Cl Clagius, if you remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big yeah, dude, he took his tuba off and he was like in a fighting stance. He was like, am I gonna have to run up on this guy? But it was like, this guy's so stupid because it's like, there's like over 200 of us. And dude, no like, offense to Clagius, but it would take him a while to get there. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think, yeah, but... <laughs> Hey, he's a big like uh, fucking like, yeah. Push he would man, take those, yeah. He would take those. Like a, he's like a living snorlax. But it's like, this, <laughs> but this guy is like talking shit to like 200 people. It's like, dude, if you want to throw down, like yeah, you're, just you're just come out here and start swinging. Way like, yeah, numbered. You'd have as a better you're... chance at fighting them with your fists and yeah. fighting them with words. Hey, but but shout point. out to Melly for having the balls to like say that shit to oh, a guy who's yeah. fucking cursing him out. That's gangsta as fuck, bro. Like being at work, like clocked in, you know, getting a salary, and you're just like, yeah, fuck you, idiot. That pussy. Like that's fucking Dude, hilarious. I was waiting for him to like say some like huh. intense shit. The, I remember. Uh, <laughs> I, think I know he was... told him to take a dirt nap, but I thought he was gonna like cuss him out too. Yeah. Was Dude. he white or black? My my Melly? No. Was... Oh, oh. <laughs> the guy. No, not Melly the guy. Oh, the guy black. Why? What is that? Oh, okay. What is that? Matter? 
<laughs> oh, oh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling of what he probably was trying to prevent from saying. <laughs> He's trying to provoke a certain thing. But uh, I remember uh, one That's year. Not funny. I think. It was, <laughs> I think it was like after a Saints game or something like that. We were like walking and someone was throwing their TV off a Taft uh, parking car. <laughs> oh, I remember that shit. That was so. Funny. Probably after the fucking Rams no call. <laughs> Dude, it might have been that. It might you know, actually... if that was the Rams no call, it would have been the people jumping off. Yeah. <laughs> also, oh yeah. They would have throwing their the TV world, off. The they would have thrown themselves off. The, the TV was coming on the and yeah. would jump up tenfold. <laughs> Bro, I heard a collective gasp in the dorms, like the air pressure changed. <laughs> yeah, for like a no second, like, the, the, the side around the world. Yeah, for, yeah. for a second there was less oxygen in the in the building. For a second, Bourbon Street was quiet. You know, <laughs> all of New Orleans was in mourning. Deeper than that, after morning. Katrina and Ida combined, <laughs> all the of New Orleans was mourning for that call. Dude, that that ref who literally watched it happen must be waking up every day like losing sleep. Dude, like, I hope he's like, probably he wakes up. I hope he is losing sleep. He probably wakes up every day with lasers pointing. I at hope his he walks up to more bomb threats than Dutchtown <laughs> yeah. High School and Carolina yeah. High School combined. Dude, okay, so speaking of my high school, um, there's a there's a person that I brought up to Arnie before. It's a female that I won't say because I don't want her name outed. But Arnie always threatens that he sees her on uh, Tinder oh, all the time too. Oh shit! She. Was like notorious <laughs> for being an absolute slut. <laughs> like in middle school, she got caught with uh, this guy that I was friends with at a Target during like a uh, like a band trip or whatever. We like stopped at a Target, and they were like groping each other, <laughs> like in an aisle in Target and shit. And then in high school, she caught she got caught like by someone, not like the school, like sucking a dude's dick behind a dumpster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could pick a better spot. Shit. She was down bad. Dude, we, we, no, got, no, we I... got people sucking dicks in two places. Either we got we had people get caught fucking in the stairs. <laughs> oh no, bro! The little theater the, in the band in the band building. The little thing. Everybody goes over oh, there. Yeah. They, we've caught two people fucking on our piano. What locker the rooms? Fuck? And the, yep, the fucking locker rooms. Bathrooms oh. for us too. Certain very, bathrooms, very few times. Certain bathrooms that are like very, very. I unpopular. actually, I didn't hear too many stories about people getting caught fucking like during at school, but I did get told like people at my school fucked, and I was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't care about that. Know, it's only got, funny if they get caught. You we, know, we, like we've got people fucking in our bedroom, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I think. Oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> there was one time. So like, uh, some friends of mine in the tuba section. I don't know which one of them brought it, or if they found it, or knew someone that had it and got their hands on it, but they brought a, a giant black dildo <laughs> to school. They brought and, them all. Yeah. And the last class of the day for me was like, it was like percussion something. It was just a class that people in percussion take to like practice their like parts and stuff like that, but if you were in band, and you need an extra class to take, they'd let you take it and practice, but we were really just fucking around. <laughs> and if like, if you're looking at our band room, let's say you're like a band student sitting in the band room and you're facing the director. Behind the director, there's this big room that we use as a practice room, but they use it to store like uh, music stands and drums and stuff in there. And there's a window on the doors and we were in the color garden room which was on the opposite side of the room, but we would like peek our heads out and you just see a fucking dildo just go flying <laughs> across the uh, like room. And our student band director who actually went to UL, she like literally was walking out of the, the like band director's room, like looking right at that room and the door was wide open and they throw it and it sticks to one of the tubas right in front of the door and she did not see that and I don't know how. <laughs> she was literally staring at it and I was like, bro. I caught, I caught two uh, people in the uh, band locker fucking, they had two hockey sticks. <laughs> not fucking. I, I just with two hockey sticks. sticks. It's not, I just said fucking as an exclamation, not that they were doing it. Fucking comma hockey sticks. They, they fucking had two hockey sticks and they were hitting a dildo with it. <laughs> we found a butt plug in the color guard. <laughs> Oh we, oh, no. we, we, dude, we knew they were down bad though. Dude, we, we, we found we found used condoms in the color guard room. Oh my god, bro. 
Dude, one time one of the color guard kids brought a fucking gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> and he said like his mom wouldn't let him keep it or something, so he brought it to school. <laughs> this is the for like two days. This is like the color guard room. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> However the fuck that happens. Dude, there was one time during like summer training for football, like this is my freshman year. Uh, someone brought their dog with them to training and we were just in the weightlifting room and there was just a dog there <laughs> And like we would like take a break on like reps And then we'd like pet the dog and the dog would like just sit there and like watch us lift and our coach did not give a fuck And we were just like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> like <laughs> you would think a football coach out of any coach would give a fuck about something because they always claim to know everything and That dog like, run faster than you boy! Yeah, yeah, literally <laughs> Oh my god, dude Speaking of like teachers doing bad shit, my middle school band director, while I was in high school, got fired for saying the N word on uh, Facebook. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. Dude, when I was in high school, uh, the, pr the principal had to come give like me and another girl like passwords to the computers. Because our band director kept fucking jerking off on all the fucking computers. What was, the fuck? Dude, we had three computers in the bedroom, they all had like major amounts of porn on them. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm I pretty like, sure I told some of y'all this story. I think you've definitely heard the story. But um, when I was in high school, my freshman, or my sophomore and junior year, I was in Allied Health, which is like a program you take to take uh, better like biology classes. Like you're like in a field, you're like focused on doing science and like biology or something like that. And uh, we had this foreign exchange, exchange student from uh, exchange. the Dominican Republic, and his name was Franklin. Oh, and, no. Dude. <laughs> there would really be guys the out there named themselves. Franklin. Dude, <laughs> no, no, I remember who this is. Yes, dude. There would really be guys we, okay, Franklin. so yeah. I, for my allied health specific classes, I always had good teachers. And my, I think it was my sophomore year, maybe my junior year, I had this one teacher that was like, we like, we knew and she was like known for being like the best one. Like she was the best. She was so laid back and she was good at teaching and she was like super nice. And every day we take tests, it was like we'd do them mostly online, like on our computers we would take them. And she'd be like, okay, you know, like whenever you're done with your tests, you can do whatever you wanna watch like videos or play games or whatever, you can do that. Just make sure you do it quietly, like where your buds or something. And it is like, you could fucking hear a pin drop, bro. You could hear anything. You could hear a, a fly buzzing around the room and it's so quiet in there. And this motherfucker finishes his test and opens his laptop up. And when it's booting up, like it's not on, it's like on the <laughs> password screen. You just hear, ah, oh my God, oh my God, what the, oh my fucking God. And where everyone is just like staring at this man. Like, I thought that shit only happened in movies, bro, and that happened in real life. This man had fucking porn blasting on a school computer. They, at the end of the year, like, they can see what the fuck you were doing. What do you mean, the, what do you mean at the end of the year? During the year? During the year, the year, year, year. Fucking, fucking beginning of the year. <laughs> and it's like, bro, you are so down bad. Like, you don't have a phone? Like, just watch it on your phone. Oh, how the fuck did he access that? It shit's all blocked. Uh, there were some people that had like uh, VPNs that worked or like all the VPNs that we tried have always out. been uh... For yeah. us they worked at first and then the school would block yeah, them yeah, when they yeah, found out about yeah, them. Yeah, slowly but surely. We had like <laughs> we had, like prison. That or, or or we just take the Wi-Fi, the uh, teacher Wi-Fi. Did y'all ever... Yeah, I used to sell the teacher Wi-Fi password. That's fucking... <laughs> that, that is so smart. Shit. That is so genius, bro. Dude, because everybody would hit me up and be like, you got the, you got the Wi-Fi password? It's like, yeah. It's like, can I get that shit? It's like, $15. $15. When, when, when we were, 15, bro. Honestly, work, when we were using a, uh, laptops at Rumble, so often, too, though. Um, <laughs> the, the, the guy who mainly worked on, like, the computers to make them what they are would try to scare us with, like, oh... If you take if you take the computer home with you, I can still see what you're doing. Hmm. And so like everybody was like afraid to search things. But one of my friends said he watched so much goddamn porn on his laptop <laughs> and nothing ever happened. He's probably watching it with him, bro. He probably did it out of spite. Man, man got some good case. <laughs> Bruh. And then we got iPads in 2012, and I that still is not an upgrade. I, there is no yeah. And, yeah, it was a downgrade, yeah. and I I still have mine from 2012. They, we started wait, off. They gave you that shit, bro. Yeah, it was a private. Cool. Oh, they didn't give oh, it to him. He fucking he bought the iPad. No, was fucking yeah. for the two years, high school two I still have mine. IPad. It's ten years old. It sucked. I was cooking one night and I was doing homework and I saw my iPad set up. I turn around to like drain my noodles and I just hear it. And I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I turn around my iPad is screamed 
down on okay. my kitchen floor. <laughs> and you've seen my mom's kitchen floor. Oh, yes, I have. It I just already... shattered. And my mom was out of town. So the next day, my first class was French class. We had like rotated classes. And I opened up to show my homework and I'm like scrolling and I cut my finger. I'm like, I'm so sorry. He's like, did you tell your mom? I'm like, can I go call my mom? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so I call my mom and had to tell her I broke a $350 iPad. God yeah. damn. And did y'all have AB scheduling? Yes. We did, too. We did in middle school. And yeah, I must say from middle school, I, I had not, two years. I did not have that at all. That. And yet everybody I know seems to have had that It was that awesome. Time. It was Wait, awesome. Did y'all also have like a random like 30 minute period class? Yeah. Like, like advisory? No. Like the first I, one? I don't know. No. Like we, I don't think I ever did. One year, oh, wait, yes, advisory. Hour. Yeah, we had advisory. Yeah, one year it was second hour and the, yeah. la then the, the, like, the next year was like eighth hour, the last class. I was like, what the fuck is this? We it was uh, always second hour for us. It would always be a study hall and then they made it like once you're like a junior. We had advisory like once uh, a month fucking or ACT like yeah, yeah we did it like once a month just we for a little bit once a month no fuck I don't know exactly every, it wasn't like every day 30 like minutes ACT prep was one of our classes but it was like yeah, yeah, yeah bro they turned into an ACT prep only I know I that so shit was why. I used to do homework dude, in there. Dude, we know that we had our Spanish teacher. You know, she's from she's from fucking like Guatemala, so she she ain't trying to make no mistakes. She they go to pull her ass, but uh, she <laughs> every fucking second period she always made us do like four sections of our ACT prep book, and throughout the whole year we finished it twice. Yeah. Dude, my Spanish teacher was such a good teacher and nice person, but Nobody I wanted to liked. fucking stab her in the throat during tests oh. because everything on the test was in Spanish. Like, name at the top said nombre and stuff like that. The, 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 number. the directions. <laughs> <laughs> or, sorry, I said nombre. <laughs> it's pronounced number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nombre? Are you speaking German? <laughs> it said name. It said nombre. It just goes to show how much I paid attention. But, uh, but like, even, even, like, the directions were in Spanish. So, like, it's like, we didn't know what the fuck to do. We're just sitting there, like... I guess you just had a bad Spanish, Spanish. I guess you just had a bad Dude. Spanish class, because... You know what they I'm, say? Was, no we, Sotro we had, Salimos de Bergen, Norway. We, we had the same t kind of test, and we all fucking aced that shit. Yeah, but were Dude. you, like, the directions in Spanish? Yes. Really? That was our, our French teacher was like that too. Oh, our French was like that. Yeah. I guess, I, well, I, our teacher was really good. Ours, she would put them in Spanish, and then when we would say, like, when we would sit there and read it for thirty minutes, trying to figure out what the fuck it's telling us to do, we'd raise our hand and be like, "I really don't understand what it wants me to do." And then she would just read it back to us in Spanish. Like, I, I know how to fucking read it. I don't know what you mean. Just tell me the answers, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, what do you want? What does it want me to do? Like, you couldn't at least put the directions in, in, in English? English? It wants you to like, at least in English. Yeah, yeah, it's like, I don't know what the fuck Dude, it wants me to do. The Spanish teacher at our school was literally the most hated teacher. Like, there have been several attempts to push this lady down the stairs. Because she's like five, four foot ten. Like... Like, 40-year-old, like, mean old lady, bro. Like, can't understand her at all. She written up everybody, bro. If you're in her class, you've gotten written up. It, one of, one of the students, it didn't matter. One of the students at my school killed our Spanish teacher. Oh, oh, <laughs> God damn, what the fuck? Holy God damn, what the <laughs> hell? That didn't really happen. Because I think I told you about this. But I don't think you told me. What, what the hell? What an incredible week. What? Jesus <laughs> what in the what hell is they this? Viewers, they killed our... What the hell? I didn't, I didn't think Spanish, but basically, he had like heart issues and he kept his medicine in his desk if he ever needed it. I have heart issues, let and me so kill my Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> no, the, heart, the Spanish teacher had heart issues. Oh, oh. So he kept his medicine in his desk because, like, in case he needed it. Well, one of the students was like, when he went to the bathroom, he was like, I'm going to take the medicine out of his desk. And he couldn't get a refill for three days, and in those three days, he had a heart attack. And oh, yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah. They See the way you said it, it made me think like you're about to tell me a story about a, a dude shooting his teacher. No, like, he inadvertently killed his fan teacher, but he was arrested. So that's we had wild. Uh, my my English teacher in high Fuck school. Fuck yeah, man, that's awesome. That's <laughs> fucking wild, dude. My English teacher in high school got fired for uh, for talking to students on Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> and then a we got a, a man of fire. because we <laughs> were suspecting that he was having sex with uh, some of the girl students, dude. The, we had we had so what, in my, uh, we never really found out they wouldn't tell us. But so my so, my sophomore year, 
uh, in my geometry class, like, we caught a student, like, blowing off the teacher mid-class. Like, she came out under the desk and everything and, like, just sat back in her chair like nothing happened. I'm like, we saw that. What? She was a cheerleader, right? too, bro. She, she was so stereotypical. She was fucking mode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and, like, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? One, one year we had a, uh, I think it was my junior year, somebody somehow got an upskirt photo of one of our teachers and it spread around like wildfire. Oh, yeah, dude. We had and so got, many news to spread. Caught. Damn, son. Dude, so so they that trace that shit like Lord. the FBI. So like my senior year, I was in the office for some reason, and like there was two uh, Hispanic kids in there too, and uh, I, I heard the the principal talking, and they were talking about how these two motherfuckers recorded a fucking sex tape. They're like fourteen years old, like fourteen, fifteen, and then the That's the dude the dude the dude air dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> to everybody oh in the my, school. Oh my god, god. dude! I so, always had my airdrop so, in school. So while, <laughs> so, so while, so while the, the cops were there, like getting the evidence, he, the, the, our cop looked at our, our principal and our assistant principal was like, "You know, I can arrest you right now." It's like for what? That's child pornography on your phone. And they're like, "Oh fuck!" My, my assistant principal just slammed their phone on the ground. I was like, "No, you can't." I was like, "What the Damn, fuck?" So. Yeah, wait. But, but they were gonna arrest but, but the they principal. Did both of them. Yeah, and but so technically I can arrest you for why, this. Why? Wait, yeah, so but they it's not had like they their phones? It. Doesn't matter. Because they confiscated. It's but wait, if no, it's on there at any time. Listen to me, you son of a bitch. What? Why did the principal, like, they found the kids with the porn on their phone and they no, took no, the, the phone principal, from No, no, the principal had to show the video to the officer. Well, they have to know if it's child pornography. I mean, but... <laughs> so how did he get the phone? So, so when... So who... Was oh, so I had so the air so well, well, Technically, you shouldn't have that evidence. Oh, wait a minute. So, so you missed principal. that part. <laughs> wait a minute. So he used okay, to... Okay, I didn't know so the principal you... accepted the child porn video on no. air, bro. <laughs> No. So are you suggesting that like people who investigate child pornography cases can't watch the evidence? Well, it's just the fact that they had they it for that long, for that long of a time because they they had it like all day. Right. That shit was like air jump and like everybody had it. It was it was more than just videos well, too. It was well, like of the would, girl. Well, I think maybe like they thought, well, if I keep it, I can show it to the cops. Yeah, but still yeah. legally. I don't, I don't know. You, you, it's weird. you I had to be there. When bro. I was in middle school, was there wild. was you had some. You to be there to see the child porn. No, no, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. No, I, I'm blind. I'm, I'm blind. blind. What is what is this this evidence you speak of? I need to do a deep investigation. Sir, we we, we found uh, evidence of child porn. I don't actually really know what that is. Can you show me like <laughs> evidence of you it? I'm a visual learner. Like. Unless you show me like three hours of it, I'm not gonna know. What yeah, it I'm is. not gonna know what it is. <laughs> when I was in middle school. So like every classroom uh, had like a big window or two like somewhere around in the room, and there was one of our social studies classes. It had the window and it was like in the back, so like you could see like the backs of the students. And we were walking to lunch one day, and through the window we saw a kid like watching a video of a girl like fingering herself on his phone like in the middle of class. And I was just like, bruh, ooh. And when I was in fucking. Eighth grade, there was this dude I I knew. Uh, this was like, we were literally about to start basketball practice, like for the team for my middle school, and we were like getting like changed in the locker room, and uh, one of the dudes on the team recorded himself like getting his dick sucked by like this high school girl, whatever. This is in eighth grade, and it like apparently spread, and our and our basketball coach found out about it. And he walked into the locker room and went in the bathroom and put some soap in his hands. And then he walked up to the dude and he just went, Ugh! he like threw it on him like it was like a cum shot. And he's like, Ugh! and I was like, bro, what the? Fuck? And everyone started dying laughing. We were like, dude, why the? Fuck? Is fucking this is literally weird. an eighth grader. You're I thought like he was a grown gonna slap man. him with the soap or something. No. No, he put it on his hand and just went Ugh! and like threw it on him. It was like fucking like some flatters of it on dude, his face based? and shit. <laughs> Dude, base? <laughs> what? <laughs> there was this guy I knew. I'm gonna say his name because he probably doesn't care. His name was Wayne. And he fucking. <laughs> this fucking guy was like the definition of mad lad, bro. Like, the walls in the men's or in the boys' locker room was like made as fucking cinder blocks. And he would just fucking walk in there and like. He's, like, trying to get, like, really hype. He was a manager for the team. He'd, like, get really hype for, like, games or, like, for practice. And just start fucking punching the shit out of the cinder block walls or, like, the metal lockers. And we're just like, dude, that doesn't fucking hurt. He's like, fuck no, that doesn't hurt. He start fucking wailing on it. Dude, it sounds like he's about to punch a hole in him. 
And I was just like, I don't know how the fuck that guy yeah, can do that. And different. yeah, he was literally built different. That dude was fucking hilarious, though. He probably went to the fucking school of punch a bunch of hard objects. And <laughs> <get your hands laughs> up hard. I've never seen well, like plays Minecraft in real life. When he yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, literally. No tools. Dude, we had hands. we had a coach that we would bully all the time because he had uh, one one sock that was really like all the way up, and then one sock that was all the way down the other side. For uh. Like we bully him just for that, dude. Yeah, literally, bro. He's, he's like he's like fifty eight years bro. old, like a really old man. Like we had a coach coach. that we called Turtle because he looked like one. <laughs> <laughs> my my PE teacher in middle school, we would call him Chester because his fucking hair ch- <laughs> chest hair would fucking pop through his shirt. <laughs> dude, my and my friend said my, my friend said he had a nightmare <laughs> where his chest hair started attacking him. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I had the same middle school uh, PE teacher all three years, and my last year, he got fired because he yelled at one of the ki- one of the white kids in, in the locker room. Uh, no, they ran out with the fucking, uh, the CPR baby from fucking, uh, from the hell. Dummy. Yeah, the dummy from hell, and they're like running around with that shit, and he's like, get back here, you motherfucking cracker! Nah. And then like right behind him was the fucking principal, and he's like, man, fuck them kids. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck them kids. Dude, got fired and everything. I saw him like at my graduation. I'm like, oh, how's it been? He's like, oh, you know, living on the streets now. I was like, ha, oh, fuck. Damn. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Dude, dude was fucking wild, bro. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I actually god. heard about that. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. I remember hearing about that. Fucking chill, so, wild, bro. Whenever we have our morning announcements, we would do the Pledge of Allegiance. And our principal would be like, please well, stand up and face the flag. So you can imagine the kind of mistake he would make with that sentence. One day he said, please stand up and, and face the... <laughs> the oh flag. my god. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a gay guy in our class and everybody <laughs> looked right at him. Oh my god, bro. That is so, so BM. Good. That's so good. That's so BM. Bro. I love that. <laughs> I don't know. It was all in, it was all in good uh, laughter though. He thought it was hilarious. He was <laughs> oh, laughing when it happened. I forgot about this, dude. I think because my brain tried to repress this, but <laughs> there was one time. Maybe that's for good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> there was one time we were coming back. Drama. We were coming back from like a competition. It might have been showcase. No, I don't think it was showcase. But we were fucking like. It, it was it was like after a concert band concert for like district or something like that. Like it was some kind of competition for concert band. We were on the bus ride back, and it is like broad fucking daylight, you know, like 2.30 in the afternoon. And there was these two kids sitting in the back. It was a flute player and a baritone player. And it was a a guy and a girl. They were sitting in the back of the bus together. And we would like, we would like take like the jackets off, like the suit jackets off a lot of times. It was just hot. And he took his off and he had it like over them. (laughs) And they were just fucking jerking each other off in the back of the bus in broad daylight. And we were like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? And everyone's like, are you serious? And they, they were like pretty well known for that. Like, and they were still in band after all the other years. And our band director knew and everything. And she eventually at some point in her life got like a restraining order on him or something. I'm like, you're the one that's over here fucking fooling with the dude and you're getting him, getting a restraining order on him, bro? That, that was a problem. Uh, I was like, school. I do think that guy was a bit of a... That, that was a problem in high school of like people fucking and doing shit dude, on the bus. I don't I had, like, Not for us. I had like no reason to ever even think about that stuff in school. It almost happened oh, like twice. I thought I, I didn't have a reason not to guys, think it, but I mean, I went to an all guys. Oh no, no, we, we had girls like girls doing shit on girls like on the way back like, too, bro. Like why, dude? Like I know, I like you know, school. you hit that stage of puberty Come and like why? Come on. your body's going nuts and all that, but like you really can't just like not do that kind of stuff until eighteen, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. Fucking. I mean, imp- in middle others. school, some guy would go into our bathrooms and wet toilet paper and throw them at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> we threw pencils at the ceiling in our band room to see if oh, yeah. stick. <laughs> Dude, we, we, were, we were throwing guard flags up at the ceiling, and uh, one of them like, got like hit the hit. We were throwing the guns. Ceiling. We were throwing it, guns. It hit the ceiling, the ceiling and then it went in there, too. So, it, like, character just has a guard flag stuck on the top of the ceiling. That's fucking funny. Still to Did this y'all day. Have, like, uh, Still to this day, bro. Like, you would have to get a ladder to get that shit down or try to knock it down. 
you know, like the water bottle flipping shit people would yeah. do, like in school, like on like top of like really weird ledges where mm-hmm. there's like a bell or something. <laughs> Every once in a while, there's just a water bottle there, like that full, just from an epic flip many many months ago. Dude, some of the nerds uh, at our school, cause we were AOIT, so we had we had shit, like we had uh, like we had like four or five 3D printers at our school. So a lot of the times, the nerds who are in AOIT would come with like portraits of just random people. So up on our trophy case, we have a picture of Kevin Hillman, uh, The Rock, huh. yeah. and uh, I think Bla- I think Vladimir Putin. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like they're just like three three D figures Beast. just like sitting randomly. That was my screensaver like yesterday. It was Putin. <laughs> I like your Putin new Jimi Hendrix one. It's really trippy. I like yeah. It. But yeah, dude, school was, oh my God, school yeah, was weird. Crazy stories about high school. Yeah, dude. Um, so, at my high school, uh, we had this thing where, like, we have, like, a month left, but we put on, like, a big show where, like, we show off the year and we do, like, dumbass funny skits. That's fucking and it's, awesome. it's And it's always great. We never did One cool year. Shit. Never. One year, one guy was tripping on acid and he passed out and all of a sudden, uh, during the, the whole thing... We see two teachers carrying a guy out because he was tripping on acid. That's fucking wild. Dude, last day of school, my junior year, there was literally a gang fight. Like, 7 a.m., like, no, 6 30 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, people with, like, fucking blue bandanas and red bandanas, like, literally <laughs> fighting. Wow. Crips and... Bro, it was literally... A bunch, it, it literally, of, bro, bunch of fucking LARPers. Bro, huh. tw- 23, 23 students were involved in that fight. Damn. There was she was there was one time, yeah, like, hey, bro. It was, was bro. There, early in the morning in our parish, notorious. <laughs> time for that shit, bro. For That's what I'm doing. Right. Y'all find it, fucking seven eight. Seven, I'm sleeping, bro. bro I, oh, I'll be sleeping outside all the time. There was this school in my parish known, like notoriously, for being like sore losers, and uh, it's it, it's McKinley, McKinley High. Fuck you. <laughs> it is like like they're they're one of those schools that's kind of like you know like in the hood. You know what I mean? Like, Trashy. Yeah. Like Northside? Yeah. Oof. And uh, there was two schools like that in my parish. It was McKinley and Lowry. But uh, <laughs> McKinley, we had, a, we had a football game against them, and we just fucking whooped their ass. They <laughs> sucked so bad. And l- l- when the game was over, the football players, like, walking out the field, like, our football players walking out the field, the parents and the football members and of the other team came sprinting to our side of the field and started picking fights with the parents and kids, like students, looking for the football team to go fight them. For fucking losing. They got their ass whooped and they did that shit. Like, parents were doing this. On top of the students and the players. Dude, why whatever. Are, why are sports parents like the worst people? The ever? worst. Dude, soccer moms, bro. Dude. Soccer mom. Dude, my mom is so, a soccer mom. Bro. So, y'all, so y'all know I, I work for Carica, right? I'm, yeah. I tech over there. So last year. So there's this dude. He comes to every game. He's a sponsor of Carrico High Athletics. His mm. name's Big Boy. He does fencing and shit. Big man. Fencing. He's a, a big old white man. <clears throat> All right. And and one day, one game, we went to St. Martin or St. Martin Parish or whatever. And uh, we, one of our one of our kids was at the top, and he he brings a loud ass fucking horn. It's annoying as fuck. <laughs> so I, I don't know him. Him and one of our kids got in an argument, and he literally told he literally told the other kid, "Shut the fuck up, you stupid nigger." Like hard R and that 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 kid was like literally about to beat his ass, and then the cops almost came and arrest me, Henry, and the kid, because we were we were trying to prevent. Bro, that that shit was racist as fuck. The whole, one of our own people was racist to us, and then the cops for Saint Martin Parish uh, also were racist toward us. Bro. Dude, I'm like I'm white. I, I well, I'm mixed. I look white, but like <laughs> white people can tell. I'm black. It's so bad sometimes. There is nothing like more. <laughs> like cringy than seeing a fucking boomer just obliterate someone with racism. I don't Dude, know. Dude, like a 16 year old kid. It, like, well, that's worse too, but like still. It's just. Oh my Nothing God. is worse than boomers. <laughs> <laughs> don't you mean aliens? Because that's a boomer is not an age, it's a mindset. True. <laughs> it is true. High school is weird. Rap Scallion, dude. Hello. Well, I think we're going to end it there. On the on the weird high school stories, I think Roscoe's ready too. He's he's trying to make his rounds. <laughs> Say bye, Roscoe. All right, we're gonna we're gonna end the uh, what I call it pineapple under the sea OG pack pack. <laughs> <laughs>
podcast. Damn, it just smells like it. It just smells like it. Someone fun. has to make mouth noise. Hopefully, Jesse, isn't here Jesse will be uh, yeah, here like for it. the next episode, or we're going to end that one. I'm going to edit this one, post it whenever I feel like posting it. You got to do it in the morning. I got some Devour videos to post or edit. No, we'll yeah, try and get one done tomorrow. One of my children's songs. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, okay. laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. Make the mouth noise. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to turn everything off. <laughs>